This conference tournament preview edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. For every $25 you bet on college basketball, WinBet is giving you a chance to win a trip to Las Vegas for March Madness and $1,000 in free WinBet credits. Download the WinBet app now or visit WYNNBet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Stable Duel. Stable Duel is a horse racing DFS app where you can play free and paid games for real cash prizes. You can win as much as $15,000 with one entry. Head over to StableDuel.com to get started today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to $500 in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the PropSwap app today. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app for all of our free picks and podcasts. This is Mike Leach, uh, head football coach at Mississippi State, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money game with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Crame dog. Yeah, you know, right now, as we speak, the baseball heads are arguing over the day night double header. Sean, we have no problem with the double yes. header college. We're not, we're not doing seven inning double headers. Real men do nine inning double headers joining us. Talk all things college basketball. Colby Dan, aka the Dan to base. What's up, Colby? Well, speaking of double headers, guys, I noticed when I came in my office a few days ago, and it still resides on my but desk. I, well, I was gonna say, what what happened in your office? <laughs> the, there was uh there was uh did I say my office? No, you, oh. you just said you came in your office. Yeah. Is oh, that okay. it, like when you got okay. to work? We'll to when yeah, to I got talk. you. I got uh, you. Boom. Um there was a, a bag oh. from from Hawaii. Th- there on my desk. It's been sitting there for about a week. Hmm. If you guys want me to do the double header <laughs> of the Maui Invitational with a Hawaii Rainbow football oh, game, yeah. I am willing to go to that high school. That just give uh, me a Hawaii. plus one. Me, me, and a plus one. Oh, it's got to be a plus one. Is that plus a deal one. Breaker? I'm gonna bring the wife there. All right. She can sit on beaches. I'll just go watch nice. sports. You know, come Look at back. Colby, little, college see what now. Colby's uh, low key negotiating. Well, I, I just want to know public. why that bag from Hawaii is on my what, desk. What it's t- like you're you're trying to tell me something. Well, Ryan has been dropping a lot of uh, bags trying to recruit his uh, <laughs> his all star team of uh, girls soccer. So. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, no, you know, t- uh, the roster selection is complete, so uh, we can now move on to playing games. Uh, and picking winners in the Atlantic Sun, the Horizon League, and Sean, the Patriot League. Which, by the way, looking oh, yeah. sharp. What better way to show your patriotism than a Lehigh basketball jersey? Let's go, guns out for Lehigh. A sun out. Or wait, was it? Suns out, guns <laughs> out. A suns out, guns out. I'm rocking the tankless. And again, this is college basketball time. Everyone's jacked. The energy is high. Doing double episodes. And if you're getting down on all these games, and you should be, you owe it to yourself. You got to head over to winbet.com or download that win betting app. Again, every $25 you wager on college basketball gives you a free shot. Win a trip to Las Vegas to hang out March 17th, March 18th at the beautiful win. Crack a couple cold ones with us. Get $1,000 in free bets on the win betting app. Bet big, win bigger over at winbet.com. Offer subject to change, terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 older. Present in the state where play through winbet's available. You or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. All right, it's got the shades. For the Atlantic Sun. All right, enough messing around. We're here to talk a Sun Conference Tournament preview. And we're right, we're, we're well, like 34 minutes away from the NEC well, tournament tipping. Colby, so keeps we're reminding just us. we're just full on in. This is the postseason. Um, 
Sean pointed out I'm wearing sunglasses. Uh, he he rightly assumed it was because we're about to preview the Atlantic Sun. No, Sean, I am just reacting to the incredible glare shining off those biceps. <laughs> did you, did you know Sean's Irish? All right, you would you would if you uh, tune in on YouTube. Uh, and I, you know, shout out to me for making fun of your pregame pushups on on Twitter as well. So. <laughs> Uh, you know, got to get a little, uh, it's an old <laughs> acting trick, right? Old showbiz trick. No tricks needed uh, over here, right, know, Colby? I mean, uh, Car- Carson did it all the time. <laughs> well, I mean, our buddy, uh, buddy, uh, who was the guy that used to play Reacher? <laughs> oh, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise does it all the time. <laughs> Before they replaced Before him, they with replaced him with a super ripped dude. Greek it's, a sh- it's a shame we don't have a couch you could jump up on there, like Tom Cruise oh, did. Wow. You know. Be careful. I'm not trying to get canceled by the Scientologist Colby. Relax. Right. Enough messing around. Let's get to it. Let's talk. Uh Atlantic Sun. Ryan, rattle off the odds. Let's get to this. Hold on. All right. See, first of all, um, I'm gonna bring attention. If you if you're not watching, um shame you on paper you. brackets. That's the best part. Are these right? not in, Filling in the right, the, in yeah, the right I got it right order. here. What okay, are you what are you what are you doing? You, you hear the paper. Mm. Uh it's color too, like SGPN, not skimping on the ink. All right, this uh, this whole tournament is played at campus locations, Sean. So all games will be played at the home team of the higher seed, Liberty plus one eighty, Jacksonville State plus two seventy five, Jacksonville plus three twenty five, twelve to one for Florida Gulf Coast and Bellarmine. <laughs> mine apologies, uh, Kennesaw State thirty to one, Central Arkansas fifty to one, North Florida and Lipscomb. 60 to 1, Eastern Kentucky 75 to 1, Stetson 80 to 1 and North Al- How bad is North Alabama that they're 200 to 1 in this conference? Football school. Uh Sean, <laughs> we have uh, the top 4 seeds receiving buys, Jacksonville, Bellarmine, Jacksonville State and Liberty. First round set to t- to tip off tomorrow/today, slash today, March 1st. So uh, a we we have future odds. We're gonna make a couple picks on who we like to win. B we got the bracket in front of us. Good to look mm-hmm. at if when you're picking winners. C I thought maybe we should pick the first round games. A little rapid fire, not a full preview, but uh, to see who we like. And then uh, yeah, I don't know. Seems like we should pick the games if we're gonna talk about the conference tournament. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. All right, North Alabama, Florida Gulf Coast. This is a uh, they do it so weird here, but this is a three versus a six. Basically, the top and the bottom. So each side has one through six. So being a six seed means you're one of the worst two teams in the conference. Uh, minus twelve for Florida Gulf Coast against North Alabama, Colby. What do you what are you thinking here? You know, I think I will say I'm not super deep on some of these conferences. I, I think you stay chalk here, uh, okay. Florida Gulf Coast. You know, early in the year, I was impressed by this team. Uh, then they kind of hit a, a rough patch in the middle. Towards the end of the season, here they've played better ball. I think they've won like uh, almost what I think it's like eight of nine. They have one. Uh, obviously, they have nope. the, the North Alabama game on deck. But the, if you go back and look, they beat them by thirty-two on <laughs> February 9th. February 9th, they beat them by thirty-two. Uh, I would say that is good enough for me right there. Lay the points with the Eagles of Florida Gulf Coast. Shout out to the dental yeah, school. North, North Alabama has one of the worst offenses in many categories. They're in bottom ten of Ken yeah. Palm. So uh, I, I would say probably a good strategy to just play Florida Gulf Coast in this one. Well, Florida Gulf Coast, uh, very you know solid shooting team, effective, especially compared to North Alabama. Uh, effective field goal percentage fifty two and a half compared to North Alabama forty three like three hundred fifty fourth in the country. Are you kidding me, Colby? Can you reach the nerd drop right now? What's <laughs> going? Wh- where did Sean go? Yeah, I'm confused. You're reading about numbers and also uh, guns out because the sun's out. FGCU minus twelve. Yeah. Lock it up, all Colby. Right, so- Clean sweep. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to on that all day. There. We're just going to pretend like I'm filling out a bracket over here. Stetson central Arkansas. No, another uh, three versus six here in Conway, Arkansas though. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Cause Arkansas is the three seed. This game's a pick. Interesting here. Um, Colby is Stetson coming in with some heat. What do we got? Well, first off, uh, you know Ray Finkel uh, went to Stetson. Laces out, nicknamed the Mule, uh, and uh, <laughs> look, Stetson is uh, Chase Johnson. 
I don't know. I, I feel like Stetson's a, a decent spot here. I was surprised that the line was like this. So there's a little bit of that, but stink? a tiny bit, a Which tiny bit. Central Arkansas has been a doormat. They just, this is their first year in the a sun. Um, Look, I get it. They they, they beat Stetson really good in offensive rebounding, second in the conference. Central yeah. Arkansas is a, a solid free throw shooting team. Central Arkansas is having their best year in a few years, but they're still a pretty shitty team. So I'm gonna say, uh, give me, give me the line stinks a little bit. Give me Stetson. Get yeah, it done. Stetson gets you up. So let's go. Oh, we. Oh, I thought that was gonna be my hot take. Yeah, let's go, Stetson. Everyone's on Stetson as a pick. All right, I got my bracket going here. So Stetson will take on Jacksonville in the second round. Florida Gulf Coast will be taking on Bellarmine. Just a riveting college basketball. All right, let's go to the other the other matchup, Sean. Eastern Kentucky, Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State. It's in Kennesaw, Georgia. Kennesaw State lane four and a half against Eastern Kentucky. Love this. I love this Kennesaw team. Yeah, they are fun. I dude. mean, horrible at shooting the free throws, like many of these small schools, but they can hit the three pointer. Uh, they can absolutely cover a number, and I, I love them here. Love, love. This is actually lock potential. I agree a hundred percent on the lock there. Really? Uh, they, they look, they lost bottom in the conference in free throw percentage, sixty two point four percent. From that don't give a shit because they're going to be draining threes. And at the end of the day, this Third Eastern in the conference, thirty six point four. Eastern Kentucky offense is trash, and that's that's what we really got to focus on. So, uh, do I do I think uh, am I concerned about uh, Kennesaw hit, missing some free throws? Yeah, but who gives a shit? Kennesaw just pushed Liberty to overtime at Liberty. Uh, I just think they're the more talented team than Eastern Kentucky. Uh, I know you can go back and say, well, on February first, Eastern Kentucky won by one point. I think it's a great revenge angle for Kennesaw State. Give me Kennesaw. Clean sweep, Kennesaw can, State. Can I mention that Eastern Kentucky is one and twelve on the road this year? Yeah, that's a good point. Good, great point. These these yeah. campus sites only tournaments are interesting because that's a ma- obviously massive advantage. All right, last matchup: North Florida Lipscomb. Three is the spread. Nashville, Tennessee, Lipscomb Lane three. Is and, it? And I think Lipscomb? they got that. I think they got that because Lipscomb won by three on January 29th. I actually what? think this one is tough. This one is like, it's like just take a take a shot. Throw throw the throw the dart on the wall. Uh, we're we're talking about a 100 percent a 16 seed here. Whoever wins this conference. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. Checking. Uh, well, no. I mean, Liberty might be. Liberty they, could could potentially be. Liberty yeah. doesn't win. Does it's uh, a play do they in still 16. get in? Probably. No, 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 no. Liberty would not get in. No, because I don't they, think they're if they lost the, the championship game. They're not getting I in. don't think so. No. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, but uh I guess I, I guess I'll take a shot on on North Florida in the points here. <laughs> the North Florida's been uh, they beat at Florida Gulf Coast on February nineteenth. <laughs> that was their one loss. Give me uh give me the Ospreys. Uh, they're Ospreys. I, I, so you're taking North Florida against the, the Bison's. Points. That's a tough matchup for the Birds. I'm going. Uh, uh, I'm going Lipscomb. I like their effective field goal percentage. Um, so these teams are just all scattered with red. That's yeah, bad. So Lipscomb's pretty eight, decent from the field too. Lipscomb's eight and six at home. So that you got that in, in your favor there, Sean. And meanwhile, North Florida's uh, four and fourteen on the road. Yep. I'm just looking at a team like if I look at the all four units, they're all trash. Lips Lipscomb's offense is the only thing that's even like close to above average. If you're like me taking North Florida, here's what you like: they're seven and three in their last ten, considering. They were they're eleven and nineteen. That means what? They were four and sixteen. All of a oh. sudden, they will go seven and three. Their final ten games. Sean, we took our upset. Well, that was Stetson. We're doing chalk the rest of the way. <laughs> Let's go. All Lipscomb right. Lipscomb minus three. All right. So that uh, we it leads mo- us with mostly the same bracket, which means when we look at the future, Sean, we can't be looking at North Alabama. We can't be looking at North Florida. Okay. We can't be looking at uh, Kennesaw or West uh, Eastern Kentucky or Central Arkansas. Uh, so Stetson would tee off uh, against Jacksonville, Kennesaw against Jacksonville State, Bellarmine against Florida Gulf Coast, and Lipscomb, or if you're Colby, North Florida against Liberty. I mean, at that point, you know you're, you're drawing out a path. Like, does Bellarmine become interesting? No. As as a twelve to one uh, dog, does Kennesaw become interesting? I think at Kennesaw to one? is is somewhat interesting there. Uh, obviously, Florida Gulf Coast. I feel like they've been well, playing, and, yeah. and especially if Kennesaw State, they're playing Jacksonville State. If they can get that upset, yeah, going a little run, um, it, it does seem like it's just liberties to lose. 
with possibly. Uh, I wouldn't. Say, I mean, the odds aren't. Uh, the odds are not crazy. Like the odds are less crazy than I would have thought. Yeah, I'm Liberty. gonna. I'm gonna go Liberty. Uh, mm. Play it safe there, Taking but then I chalk. do like. Uh, uh, of these like longer shot ones, I don't know. Kennesaw State thirty to one is pretty fun, so I'll, I'll rock Kennesaw State and then Liberty uh, for the chalk play. I mean Jacksonville though at plus three twenty five, you could maybe talk me into it because they wouldn't have to play Lipscomb until the championship, and uh, they'll be scoring up against Jacksonville State. So I, I actually like that. Uh, Jacksonville's been a darling of mine for Ooh. pick, you know, picking games, you know, day in day out with c- the college basketball experience. Right. Jordan Mincy the, is in year one as their head coach. Uh, I've been really impressed with it. All right, so maybe I, you know, you don't need a plus one eighty. Uh, that's a that. Come on, I'll go. I'll go Jacksonville, Kennesaw State, uh, at Jacksonville plus three twenty five. Kramer, what are you doing? <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I, I, the Kennesaw State one was was a great idea that I came up with, and then you copied. So you can you can I'll copy you and take Kennesaw State. Great call. Uh, and then, I mean, no one's taking Liberty at all. I mean, they have owned every every year they've I mean, been Liberty. in this conference. I, why are they only won. plus one eighty? Hey, they almost got the down the stretch the 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 past like two weeks of the season. Liberty has struggled. I mean, they they beat Is Kennesaw that, State worried? in overtime. Um, Give me look. Uh, yeah, give me Lipscomb. Lipscomb? I, no, what did I say? Uh, Sorry, Liberty. You Liberty. Mean. Yeah, about to say Lipscomb. Lipscomb is just like a high school kid's joke word. <laughs> She's got <laughs> Lipscomb, dude. Uh, I will go with. Uh, I think the 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 dog here, Florida Gulf Coast. They they're playing good ball right now, and I think the favorite. I'm gonna ride Jacksonville. I'm gonna join Sean on this okay. because I think the Dolphins got something going. Now the only scary thing here. Is can one of these teams go into Liberty, into uh, what is that Lynchburg, Virginia, where the the fans get up for at that stadium? So that's going to be the hard part. Is that's a true home court environment? Uh, and so they have the number one overall seed as well. Like yeah. If if they play Jacksonville State, it would be at home. Yeah. All right. I'm still sticking with Jacksonville. They're a fun. There's story. just no value with. I mean, there's little value with Liberty. So let's go. Let's go Jacksonville. Yeah, let's have no some one fun. wants this. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go, dog. Are you making fun of me? Yeah, we are. You're making fun of winners. We are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head over to the Horizon League. Before we do that, want to make sure we talk about PropSwap.com, where America goes to buy and sell real sports bets. Yeah, let's say you got a uh, got the old. Lehigh to win the conference uh, Patriot League at 50 to 1. All of a sudden, you see now the price has dropped tremendously. You can head over to propswap.com, use our promo code SGP, get that sweet instant deposit bonus, and then uh, sell it. Make some guaranteed money even before things tip off. If you're looking to buy and sell sports bets, you got to do it over at propswap.com, where America goes to buy and sell real sports bets. Promo code SGP, instant deposit bonus up to $500. Are you kidding me? Propsoft.com promo code SGP. Oh. Ryan, what do we got in the Horizon League? Well, we got uh, a couple things. Hey, shout out to all these leagues for how. Actually, shout out to the the one of the major media networks for linking to all the leagues who got to put out their own PDF. So, st- seeing the different styles of uh, uh, different leagues. It is pretty funny because we are on the Horizon League, and they're the only one we we're going to cover today that's got a sponsor, Sean. Oh no! Spo- what are you talking about? Sponsored by Keeps. Well, at least on the the sponsor on the uh, the PDF itself. So oh, there's the Pen Fed logo right on the Patriot oh, League did I? basketball. <laughs> oh, I, you know this what? Guys, just throwing I, the Patriot I, League basketball. Well, it, it's so well right done the into the logo that I didn't notice it. Keeps is just slapped on the top. Like, hey, look at us. Uh, all right. Campus sites for the first two rounds. Then we go to India, the Indiana Farmers Coliseum for the semifinals and finals. We have Cleveland State 275, Oakland 375, Wright State 4 to 1, Northern Kentucky 5 to 1. I what is IPFW? Fort Wayne. Indiana Purdue Fort Dude, Wayne. Fucking shit, man. 550 Detroit 16 to 1, Youngstown State <laughs> The Penguins thirty to one, Illinois, Chicago seventy five to one, 
Robert Morris. We've seen them in the tourney before. Hundred to one. Milwaukee, two hundred to one. Whisk a Green Bay, three hundred to one, and IUPUI. I've partied there before, Sean. Five hundred to one to win their own conference tournament. They're the That's, one that did open tryouts, though. That is <laughs> unbelievable. Why? And, and, and you know, maybe we they just played a lot better since those open tryouts. By the way, well, uh, getting to the games, IUPUI is really one of the dumbest names of all time. Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis. Like what? <laughs> Yeah, you can take out. You don't need university in your name twice. Wait, is it not Pennsylvania? No, I thought it was. So it's uh, a different IUPUI. <laughs> no, I I think the one in so Pennsylvania there. is just IUP. No, it's I. Oh, m- maybe you're right. It's the Indiana University of Pennsylvania. That's IUP. Oh, interesting. I think it's a different. Um, I C U P. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, let's uh, let's head to the first round. These games uh, again are on. What are we talking about? Tuesday? Did you put the right date here? These I games did. are on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Now you put you put you put the second. That's not Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, March first. Oh shit! <laughs> I thought today was the first. That's why I got all fucked up. Green Bay uh, heads <laughs> to Detroit. Uh, Sean will be in Detroit at some point in the yeah. future. Detroit is laying nine and a half. Uh, Colby, what are we supposed to do here? Um, this is well, four p.m. I I think you're going to lay the points to Mike Davis. Remember, he took Indiana to the national championship in 2002. I think, if memory serves me correct, uh, he's a good he's a good, he's a good coach, and uh, he's got some talent there. At Detroit, if you've watched them, they've been kind of hot down the down the stretch. So I think you lay the points. Green Bay is awful. Green yeah. Bay's Green Bay has been on auto fade since Tony Bennett left the program as a player bottom in the nineties. Bottom yeah. fifteen team according to Ken Palm. Yeah, and and I mean they're in the bottom of the you know Horizon League. There's you you can't even talk. Don't get cute and take Green Bay here. Just don't do it. We're getting very chalky. Uh, Robert Morris, Youngstown State. This is in Youngstown, Ohio, four p.m. on the West Coast, minus seven. For the home team. Now this one's interesting. Robert Morris for the right been, to play Northern Kentucky. We should point out the Norse. Uh, Robert Morris has been interesting because they've been dog shit all year, but on February thirteenth they went on the road to Youngstown and they beat Youngstown by five. Okay, something to factor into that handicap. And, and I, I th- think Youngstown gets revenge on laying the seven. And I take this back. Uh, Horizon League has figured out reseeding. NBA mm. has not. Sean. Yeah. Uh, Youngstown. Uh, Colby, you're, go, you're going Youngstown State. I am revenge spot. I think they're the better team. I'm going Robert yeah. Morris. Little dog. Little big dog action. Plus seven. I mean, you're looking at some of these advanced metrics. They're they're right in the middle of the conference. I I don't understand why you're going to give them a, a seven points. The and really, if you're taking a a dog here in this like four to seven range, I like a team like Robert Morris that hits their free throws seventy eight point mm. one percent. That's enough for me to ride with uh, Robert Morris here. Youngstown lay the points. Uh, Robert Morris does not defend the three point line. That's going to become a problem. And Just staying chalky. And then we got this. This is a. Uh, All right. Next up. Can we give a shout out to the Horizon League? Uh, shout out to the. I mean, we're talking. No, no, about no. Let me break this down here. UIC mm. is another. So traditionally, UIC they finish higher than Milwaukee, so they should be hosting the home game. Oh, I love that. Colby U- loves this. UIC was go is, is leaving the Horizon for the Missouri Valley Conference next year. So originally, the Horizon said, "You know what? You're disqualified from postseason." They followed the 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 same situation that the CAA did with James Madison, the same situation that the MAAC did with uh, Monmouth. And and a couple other uh, uh, leagues have done this. I think it's a true bitch move. But mm. shout out to the Horizon Wait, League. They banned them. Yeah, for from the, the tournament because they because they saw a better opportunity for their university to go to a better league where they make more money. Sean well, uh, and Colby's and, taking a while to get to the point, but it's on the bracket actually. They have an asterisk. They explain it. Well, look, <laughs> UIC. They they did like some type of a petition on this, and then Horizon League said, you know what? We'll let you play for yep. a chance to make the NCAA tournament. Uh, the the deal is though is that you will not host the home game. Yeah. Oh. So they lose their home game, even though they're the the which all conferences should do now. Mm-hmm. CAA, it's not too late to add JMU in. 
All right, uh, Monmouth in in the MAAC yeah, I mean, what, what, and all these other schools flexing on amateur yeah. athletes. You dickheads! Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and shout out to the YouTube chat for being distracted by Sean's guns. Well, he doesn't need to see that. He, that's not necessary. He's completely distracted from the show now. All he can think about is how those push-ups paid off. You know, UIC. I love this. I love the story. I love that they they said, you know what? Fuck it. Take your home game. You need a home game. We don't need a home game. UIC, what do they lead the conference in? <laughs> not turning over the ball. Not giving a fuck. Also, the slowest uh, tempo in the conference by a wide margin. What does that Ooh. mean? They're just going to hang on the ball, grind it out, not give you good possessions. Um, and I uh, love UIC. In here. fairness, the slowest tempo is uh, actually the IUPUI, but uh, that, that that's not tempo <laughs> they play with. That's just they suck. All right. <laughs> I just throwing that out there. Oh, sorry. I meant fastest. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they're going to be up there running up and down the court and not turning it over. Whoa, whoa, I, I whoa, just... whoa. I've been to Milwaukee. You start whoa. eating cheese, having like 30 bloody Marys <laughs> for like $4. Look, nothing's going to be fast about playing in Milwaukee. I'm taking look at Patrick Baldwin Jr. Top ten recruit from a season mm. ago. He's kind of he kind of pulled an NBA. He was sitting out uh, a bunch of this uh, second half of the season. He says an injury. I don't know. He's coming back for his dad's the head coach of the oh, Panthers of Milwaukee. Love fading those so Panthers. So I'm, I'm gonna take Milwaukee little, little plus son. five. I mean, how's it working for the Bayheims, Colby? <laughs> ride Just, ride Can't the money line. Guys. Ride the money line with Milwaukee. They're gonna be, win no this game way. out right. Don't do that. Come on. What I'm are you with doing? Colby. Uh, I think Milwaukee wins the game out. Crazy. That, they have a lottery pick on their team, guys. And they're yeah, they're not a horrible. <laughs> uh, again, this is single elimination uh, format, Sean. Yeah. And in basketball, sometimes the team with the best player wins the game. Uh, I'm with you, Colby, for the conference. Give me Milwaukee. Yeah. So that, according to how we picked it, Colby, that means Cleveland State would would host Milwaukee. We would have Purdue, Fort Wayne. Hosting Youngstown State, we would have Northern Kentucky hosting Detroit, and we would have. That's a great game. That's a great game right there. Northern Kentucky Detroit would be the winner of, of the, the Oakland IUPUI game would take on Wright State. Oakland is laying twenty one. Sean, no <laughs> bullshit. I make this twenty six. The, the numbers tell me this is too short. Lay the points with Oakland. I mean, come on! This I they they just they just want to go. Home. IUPUI one and nineteen straight up in their last twenty. Uh, Oakland's not that good though. Two and ten against the spread. They were red in hot their last early in the games. year. Look, they've only played at IUPUI once. They won by uh, thirty three at IUPUI. This the might first be the time. lock. Oakland minus twenty one. The, the second one, they didn't even reschedule it. They just said fuck uh. it. <laughs> They had a COVID cancel uh, cancellation, and they're just like, you know what, man? IUPUI might not have a team by then. Just this punt on that game. Uh, I think you got to ride Oakland. One, you, you just got to ride one Oakland. One nugget I forgot about UIC, possibly why they were willing to give up their home game. One and seven against the spread in their last eight games. Oh, at home. interesting. Better on the road. Road dogs. Uh, I like it. Let me. You know, I like to bring up when teams are n- near the bottom. Well, we have uh, IUPUI. In three separate categories, is the worst team in college basketball. <laughs> Overall adjusted efficiency oh on offense, God. turnover percentage on offense, and two point percentage on offense. They're in the bottom 10 in an additional two categories effective field goal percentage and three point percentage. And they're in the bottom 15 in steal percentage. This is this is easily the worst team in the nation. But I'll say this: since they've done their their uh, their open tryouts, they won at Robert Morris by ten. Can we check the credentials? They they lost by three at UIC. You know they've played in a couple games where they've been chippy. No, no. <laughs> I'm taking Oakland minus yeah. twenty one all day. You you're you're swaying the audience in the wrong don't get direction. Don't get cold <laughs> or don't get crazy, Colby. Um. <laughs> Now we got we got to talk uh, futures here though because we didn't even talk about uh, a lot of these teams like Cleveland State, IPFW, right? Nine State. winners of nine in a row, guys. I know, and uh, sorry if I missed it. Oh, James S in the chat, Purdue Fort Wayne, yes, five fifty. You gotta love what they've they're been hot. doing lately. Uh, the, their guard Jared oh, Godfrey's oh, a oh, baller. Oh, 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 
they, they have another guard. Uh, what's his name? Pimpkin Pipkins. I think his name is he, he, he can ball too. I've been impressed with them. I've been riding them during this stretch, this nine game uh, win streak. Uh, so I like their chances at plus five fifty. That's fun. I'm in. Yeah. Plus five fifty That's team fun, coming man. in hot. And you got what think more do I need? Last year's winner, Cleveland State, Dennis Gates, you know, former Leonard Hamilton assistant at Florida State. He came right in and started winning with the Vikings. Well uh and the key thing about Purdue Fort Wayne but coming back to them is they they play, they're the top defense in the league and the top three point shooting team in the league. So certainly a, a, a formula for a team that can can and they're a tempo team, right? Like sometimes you just got to look like who can upset the the guys at the top. Uh, is it going to be a team that is going to be able to slow them down? Probably not. It's going to be a team that has to play with Cleveland State, a, a team that's going to be able to play the up tempo. So and they they're playing really good. Right state up tempo. Uh, defense, uh, defensive efficiency number one in the conference. Turnover percentage on defense. Uh, number one there, also high in uh, op- offensive do, rebounds allowed. So like they're they're playing really good. Do, do we take a flyer on Milwaukee? Like I said, they're the only player, they're the only team with the, with a player that's going to be a lottery pick. Uh, they they two hundred to one. No thanks. They're ten and twenty one. But look, they well, have wins in the regular season against Wright State, against North yeah, Kentucky, I was say against they, Oakland. They would they would they're on the side of the bracket. And Colby's be smart here because uh, from a prop swap perspective too, Sean. They, they, they've beaten all the teams that they would need to get through, and they're hosting a game round one. So, being two hundred to one, if they win a round, are their odds really going to still be two hundred to one? Or can we can we evacuate on that and sell and, and make a nice little profit? <laughs> I like it. Are I they like it. Yeah. are they a hundred to one with only uh, eight teams to go? Like this this ticket could more than half in price. Almost immediately. I know this isn't a buy sell segment, but I'm kind of with Colby. I'm gonna take. Let's take a taste of this 200 to one. Yes, yes. They're gonna get their ass beat the first. <laughs> they round. probably will. Uh, you but, guys are crazy. All right, so Kramer, you have Milwaukee 200 to one. Uh, any other plays here in this? Uh, I mean, I like what you guys were saying about the. I'll hop on your Purdue angle uh, if I can take a couple, and then honestly. For the same reason I like Milwaukee, give me Youngstown State at thirty to one. Mm. Uh, again, I think the path down there is maybe you know let's get to the final game and holding a ticket like that's not the worst angle because I do think on the top like I, I I like the Purdue angle I like I like taking that that team they're hot. Now, Northern Kentucky had been on a stretch there maybe maybe you go back to well them. see that's what yeah. I I was gonna throw out for me mm. I'm I'm not taking a super chalky play I'm taking two teams. Right at uh, plus five at Northern Kentucky at plus five hundred, uh, Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne at plus five fifty. They're both on uh, opposite sides of the bracket, two and three seeds. They already get the buy. There's a good chance one of them gets into the championship. If not, I mean, you could get both in, and then you're really cooking. If we're all picking three teams, I'm gonna add. I'm only picking two. Oh, okay. But Kramer, he needs uh, extra you, picks. Col- <laughs> Colby, pick as many as you. Detroit like. and Mercy, the Titans. They've been playing a lot better down the stretch. Plus fifteen hundred, decent okay. value. Why not sprinkle a little bit on them as well? The nerve of this guy to come at come at us, you know, just trying to give out winners to the listeners. Young Sa- Chad Graham saying Young Sound State. That's spicy. Not <sighs> IUPUI spicy, but. If IUPUI, are they going to put out a money line, Ryan? What do you think the money line would be? <laughs> a zillion. I mean, I, it doesn't matter. What are you What are you going to do with that? They, like you said, they literally have like what? Uh, what do you call a, so a walk on who shows up because there's a tryout halfway through the season? A greenie. <laughs> a greenie. I think they yeah they have literal greenies. All right, where are we doing something before we move on to the next conference? What do you mean? Like uh, I don't know. I thought no ads. Oh yeah, we're think. gonna do an ad. <laughs> On the other side. Oh yeah, talking about prop. Or did I already talk about prop swap? I think you talked about prop swap. Well, you know, I just love prop swap. You know what I love? StableDuel.com. Horse racing DFS simplified. Again, you're a DJ only. That's why. Hashtag DJs only. If you're listening to a Horizon League conference tournament preview, you like gambling. You're gonna love the thrill of betting the ponies. DFS horse racing simplified. They got free games. They got paid games. You got a chance to win fifteen grand off one race. You know how many uh, Lehigh basketball futures you can buy with fifteen grand? 
a ton. Head over to StableDuel.com. Get started today. We got a ton of Stable Duel content coming at you. Download StableDuel.com and see how many winners you can pick in your stable. I'll see you in the winner's circle. Play, race, and win. StableDuel.com. Little Apollo Creed there, Sean. I like that. Exactly. Let's talk Patriot League basketball. Patriot League, uh, Patriot League, all at campus sites, Sean. You know that. I love big, it. Big Patriot League guy. Uh, we got the heavy favorite, one seed Colgate minus two hundred, uh, followed with Navy as the two seed plus four twenty five. Both these teams will uh, be facing uh, the winner of a play in game of sorts. Uh, Boston University plus five fifty, Loyola Maryland plus twenty five hundred, thirty to one for Army, Lehigh fifty to one, Lafayette eighty to one, Bucknell two hundred to one, and three hundred to one for American and Holy Cross. Um, yeah, so American and Holy Cross are the uh, seven ten matchup. Minus two for Holy Cross. This is four PM on Tuesday in uh, Worcestershire, <laughs> Massachusetts. Oh, uh, I mean, just uh, uh, Sean should lead off as the Patriot League guy. Yes, Pat, a Patriot League expert. Well, why don't we talk about the games, then we can get yeah. into the conference. Holy Cross American minus two for Holy Cross. Um, who do you like there? All right, Colby. Who do you like? Holy Cross, American. Uh, look, Holy Cross been playing much better ball the second half of the season. They just cashed for Americans, me last Americans Saturday. Kind of owned Holy Cross though, six and zero straight up. Last six against Holy Cross. Look, when a fifteen and a half point dog hits for me, what two Saturdays ago? Dog. I, and if you haven't had a chance to watch out Holy Cross, I know me and me and Sean watched a Lehigh Holy Cross game. They got oh. a big man, Jarrell Gates. That guy is a pain in the ass. <laughs> he can light it up. I'm gonna go with the Crusaders to mm. get it done. I don't know, man. A- Americans kind of turning it on at the right time. I'm going American plus the points. They do well uh, historically against um, against Holy Cross. So yeah, I'm I'm on American here. People used to always tout American as like the school that had sixty percent. They're not great. They're not great on the road, but um, yeah, three and fifteen on the road. You grew up uh, near the area, did you? I did. That, that was, you. you got my, that. My grandmother right? like, lived like a block no, no, away. I'm just yeah. saying, like, but people used to always talk about American and how many chicks went there. Like it was sixty forty for the chicks. Yeah, I could see that. All right, that's all I. So yeah, I'm gonna pick Holy Cross. Yeah, minus two. <laughs> You guys are crazy. Take, take an American. Uh, How dare you? It's only got forty percent dudes. That's a smaller player pool. I'm just playing the numbers, Sean. <laughs> Bucknell, Lafayette, and, and they're distracted with pussy. All right, so lots of you pussy. You, he he wasn't listening to my take on all the pussy down there in American. Uh, come on, it, Lafayette's it, laying four and a half. This is coming to you from Easton, Pennsylvania. This is a hard handicap here. This is one yeah, you have fun with. Well, this is like a slow team versus a fast team, right? So you, who's gonna Bucknell also very bad on the road, one and fifteen <laughs> straight up. Wait a second. But we... they do well against the Lafayette. Six and three <laughs> against the spread against Lafayette specifically. One by three. Uh one by three on February nineteenth at the Kirby Sports Center <laughs> shot. Uh, Unfortunately, they have Kirby um, Vacuum Sports Center. They're they're bottom of the conference in many defensive uh categories. They're also a uh, bottom three in overall defensive efficiency. <laughs> Bucknell uh, is one and fourteen on the road. How Lafayette, do we why, how do we take that? Why Lafayette is this only four and a half? I know. Well, because they've they've historically covered a bunch of numbers against Lafayette. Lafayette doesn't turn the ball over. Uh, turnover percentage lowest in the conference. I'm as much as a, as a Lehigh guy pains me to back the. Stupid fucking Lafayette. Team. Wow. I'm going Lafayette minus four and a half. It's like picking the Cowboys. Yeah. Lock potential, right? Look, there's a thing called confidence. I know, I know Boston couldn't improve their seating the final game of the season, but Boston is one of the better teams. Bucknell just took them down by eleven. I think they're gonna be feeling good. Feeling that like, hey, we just beat a really good team, guys. See Are what you we can do. Bucknell? Give me Bucknell on the road. No. <laughs> Colby, Colby, I just give me crazy. the four and a half in the bison. I don't know. That game's that game is is ridiculous. Colby, you're an animal. <laughs> Kramer? Yeah, no, it's I I I just this should be like a seven point spread. 
This is crazy. If not more, Bucknell is horrible. All right. So <laughs> these other you you act like you act like uh, Lafayette is some juggernaut. They're ten and nineteen. <laughs> Colby, we're talking about uh, small conferences. I'm trying to make them feel good, All right, and I'm not going to tell them they suck too. I'm going to handicap this like one of these teams is a is a team that's got a I don't know good things in their future. You know who does have good things in their future? Lehigh at home in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, squaring off. Against Army, I mean Lehigh is really shooting the ball well behind the arc, thirty-eight percent. This game is not until Thursday, so we don't have real numbers. These are uh, Colby and and Ryan originated numbers, but five and one Lehigh is uh, last six when playing at home against Army. Five and five in their last ten, eight and seven at home, Sean. I mean, let's go. Lehigh are we wondering if this is a one, never wrong, in doubt. wrong team favorite? Potentially, I mean, down the stretch, Army was struggling. Small dog. Ar- Army was struggling. Just three and seven their last ten, and they were four and eleven That's on the, the thing. road. I mean, honestly, as 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 biased as I am to take Lehigh, this is kind of just a fade of Army, who they started out so much better in the season. They've they've really fallen apart. Cole. I'm still going to trust right. the better team. Give then me the you, Black Knights in America. Then why are you right? choosing Lehigh? <laughs> I like uh, to I like to make you feel good over there, you know. You know what, Sean? I uh, I wrote Army down, but then I realized that although I'm an Army guy, team first. Give me Lehigh. How much? I mean, team Sean's first got, is in SGP. Is that what you're saying? Yep. All right, give me Lehigh then. Oh, Let's go. We don't. Let's go. Them. Let's Jump go. Ship. I mean, Sean's got the jersey. If th- we can get any more uh, use out of his biceps, that that's a that's a plus. So you're you're switching it to yeah, Lehigh. Yeah, it's an SGP. Where, uh, do we have any any NIL uh, uh, players looming? I, I you know? <laughs> can I tell you? Can I tell you something controversial? Lehigh, uh, my numbers would have made Lehigh favored by three and a half. Wow! Wow! So here, here's you look at Lehigh's path. One, obviously, they got to beat Army. Not a problem. Then, obviously, Colgate. Will probably beat the winner of the Lafayette Bucknell game, and then they're squaring off against Colgate. Now, they've beaten Colgate, so when they go up to oh, Colgate, they're not they're not scared. The Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. Too. They're not scared of Colgate. They've beaten Colgate before. Some of these other Patriot League teams will be shaking in their boots when they go up against <laughs> the, the minus two hundred Colgate. Hasn't Colgate won the Patriot League oh, like three straight yeah. years? Yeah, yeah, four straight it's years. Easy something to like see that. a tide turn, Colgate. Oh, That's my. true. Uh, that is true. Man, once told me that get down on Lehigh uh, fifty to one market. Loyola. I don't even know if you can get that anymore. Loyola, Maryland, Boston University. Live oh yeah, from last Bo- last game. Live from Boston, Mass. Boston six point favorite. Uh, and any sort of uh, Patriot League insider take on this one, Sean? Uh, I mean, Loyola very bad against the spread. Three and one last twelve. Oh yeah, spread is six. I didn't say that. Um, three and eleven on the road. Two, yeah, yeah two and eight. Oh, their and last six. 10. They they have they've lost their six last road games. It, um, no one goes into the Case Gym. Well, and and also wins. too, like we we and we'll get to it uh, more when we start talking about real teams. But you know, Boston, <laughs> their top five <laughs> leading Whack. Lehigh just throwing them down. <laughs> their top five leading scores are all seniors. Like, isn't that what you're looking for when you're trying to find uh, teams that. or conference tournaments? You want to find a senior heavy team yep. that's at home that knows how to play together, knows how to fill it up. Give me Boston minus six. Good guard I, I, think, play. I think this is a lock. You look at their guard yep. play: Javante McCoy and uh, McCoy, and also Walter White. Someone cook me up some meth. Uh, I think uh, you, know, you could have just gone with cook me up something. We, we would have figured out the rest. <laughs> Even I, I've never watched the show. I get the reference. Really, you've never seen that. Still, huh? never seen an episode of Boston Breaking hits their free throws. You ever seen Cheers? I've seen cheers. Seventy one point six percent. Again, that if you're betting these favorites in that four to seven range, you better hope they're hitting their free throws because you know it's gonna come down to that. And and Boston thankfully does almost as good as Lehigh. Again, Lehigh second in the conference. Actually tied for first with Bucknell now. Uh don't see Colgate all the way down at sixty eight percent. Boston's gonna get it done. Javante McCoy McCoy's gonna be doing uh Jaeger bombs at that Cheers bar. Um, no, but for value in the conference, I think I, you gotta go Colgate. I, I don't care. I'm going chalk. Colgate is gonna. They're just flat out. They're been blowing teams out lately. The Raiders are gonna get that done. Now for a dog play, I think you either gotta play dog. Navy 
or Boston. Now, Army, maybe I was buying in a few weeks ago, but not recently. I know you. I know your Lehigh play. Perhaps there's something there, but uh, give me Boston plus five fifty as as the dog. So Colgate's your your favorite, and then uh, Boston plus five fifty. All right, Kramer, what do you got? Uh, I mean, you kind you you attempted to sell me on the idea of of Lehigh. Uh, it's probably going to be Colgate. Uh, I'm just going to copy Colby all the way around. I, I like that angle. I was going to throw Boston out there, so I'll, I'll do my normal deal where I uh, I go favorite and a little bit of a, a tiny. Do- I guess and it's too it, small. You want to you want to join me on this too, Kramer? Let's go with the crazy dog of Holy Cross. <sighs> They've played better in January and February. <laughs> you you guys are making fun of me for taking Lee. Right, well, let's <laughs> Holy see. Cross is three hundred to one. <laughs> all right, yeah. Let's let's throw that in the portfolio. Colby. So you have like that in there, Crusaders. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I like three hundred to one. I like where your head. You guys at. are fucking maniacs. Look at what they've done lately. They've had some nice outings. Look at this. They're just nine and twenty-one. But they were they were a team that had only won. I think they were on auto fade in November and December. They started to grow up before our eyes, Sean. They beat Army at Army. They uh they they have some some really they beat Navy at Navy. This is a team that's done it on the road some in the past. You know, forty days, fifty days. Watch out for. The Crusaders. All right, so Kramer Colgate minus two hundred, Boston plus five fifty, Holy Cross three hundred to one. I mean, you're you're building a like a USFL type uh, portfolio <laughs> of Colby's favorite everyone. teams. He's just a fan of the it. conference. Do, do we I want- do love some Patriot League basketball. For me, a, a team we haven't touched on at all because they're not uh, playing one of the early games. They have a buy. They're playing the winner of Holy Cross American. It's going to be American. They're going to take care of American, and that team is Navy. Ooh. Navy's in the other side of the bracket, so they don't have to face Lehigh until the championship game. I like Navy at plus four twenty-five. Best team in the conference when it comes to defense. They can give Ooh. Colgate all they can handle. They beat Virginia earlier in the year by by. They had some quality wins. I mean, you want to look at quad one wins. Navy's right up there. That's true. I, look. I was all on Navy early in the year, but they kind of fizzled Kramer's out. Kramer's mind was blown by how good that Navy pick was. Uh, no, I was just again coming coming after the Army Army people. N- We're never going to forgive you. Side <laughs> yeah. with those slippery shipmen. Do we want to give out a lock for the the picks that we the ATS picks we gave out? Yeah, let's do a uh, lock dog and bonus. Lock. I mean, we gave out twelve fucking picks. <laughs> 20, 25 college basketball games picked today. Just gonna throw it out there. All right, you want me to go first? I, I th- this feels fairly simple. Uh, we're gonna lock up Kennesaw State minus four and a half. Okay. We're gonna lock up. Oh, there's a couple I I don't mind locking up here. You know, I'll stay out of the Patriot League. I know Sean will be all up in there. I mean, the, Le- the Boston- way, I thought you got to lock one for each one. The Boston pick. You want to lock one for each conference? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just yeah. do that? Three That's locks. Fun. One in each conference, and then one dog. Okay. Give me Kennesaw State lock. Okay. Youngstown State lock in the Horizon League. Penguins. They waddle on past Robert Moore, and then we're gonna lock up uh, Lafayette minus the four and a half <laughs> against Bucknell. Oh, fucking those leopards. <laughs> and then for my dog, give me Milwaukee. I hated leopards. Give me Milwaukee with the oh, stolen man, home just, game. See, he gets to go first, man. He's just grabbing these things, Sean. Leaders lead, Colby. <laughs> I can't even play the small dog sound effect. That's it's a good plus dog. five. <laughs> All right, uh, lock for the Atlantic Sun. Um, mm. <laughs> it's tough, man. You know, I'm going. Just it, copy me. I'm yeah, just ride, I think that's ride the, with the clear cut one that we all like. Yeah, you're right. Kennesaw at minus four and a half is the way to go for my lock in the Horizon League. I mean, <laughs> Oakland minus twenty one is it's pretty <laughs> intriguing. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> you know, I like the uh, I like the UIC angle. I like the Fuck it, we don't need a home game. I, I like where their head's at. Sean loves to go against my uh my dog <laughs> with his lock. Bring it. You know what? You uh, picked a venereal disease. No, I'm going or an infection. I don't Detroit know. minus nine and a half for the lock. I gotta go see the doctor. Got some UCI. For the Patriot League, obviously give me Lehigh plus one. <laughs> Small dogs. <laughs> And uh, for my other legit money line dog, I went pretty chalky here. 
<laughs> Give me Robert Morris on the money line. <laughs> yeah, did you have two dogs there? I like it, buddy. Huh? Well, my lock is Lehigh plus one. Okay, oh, I got so you. So I'm. I mean, obviously, I'm going to play it on the money. I'm Hello. gonna. I'm gonna lock up uh, uh, Kennesaw State minus four and a half as well. In the uh, in the A Sun, Colby is my dad. Four twenty, tipping a four dollars or four ninety nine, saying, "Dig me out of a hole here, Colby. Give me the lock of the year tonight." Uh, well, for tonight, for Monday, guys, college basketball experience or what college basketball experience. YouTube Go grab that pick. thing. Uh, I will say in the Horizon League, I'm gonna go with uh, give me Milwaukee plus five. I do like the Youngstown State angle, but I don't want to copy you all the way. So give me the Panthers plus five against UIC in the Patriot League. We're gonna hop on Boston minus six. Wait, sorry. Oh, so you also went Kennesaw State, right? Yeah, yeah Kennesaw State, missing. Milwaukee. And then uh, Boston minus six, and the dog. I like that. The dog is the Ospreys. All right, North Ooh. Florida. They've been playing better. They're at Lipscomb. Look, you like that? G- give me, give me the Ospreys. They're gonna get it done. They're gonna fly out. Who fly gives Ospreys. out more? <laughs> fly. Who gives out more picks than us? No one, Ryan. That and is. with all the silly banter too. Hey, and look, we got Danta Base <laughs> Eagles goat guys. Yes. See, oh. that's, goat that, it up. That's 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 a guy that's probably watched some John Elway highlights. You know. He probably <laughs> loves concussions. He loves standard deaf. Oh man, oh, what God. a uh, what a fun Monday here! If you missed it, we also did a uh, our normal Monday college basketball <laughs> picks episode, uh, and this was you're listening to a bonus episode: conference tournaments and ATS picks oh. for those conference tournament games. We're going to be doing a ton more conference tournament previews as we go along here. Make sure you subscribe to the Sports Gambling Podcast. College basketball experience easy easy enough. You can just download the app, then you're subscribed to all of our awesome podcasts, free picks, videos. We do it all completely. F R E E. Thank you for wow. participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast for the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Sean conference conference previews all week. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>